kept doing in those neighborhoods from the good times into the bad times. And that was their street. And they weren't going anywhere. Right. I, I, I was at a community meeting yesterday, and it was five organizations that were there. And do you know that the word is on the street, as they would say, that uh, these individuals are sometimes uh, not invited to the, uh, the, the leadership meetings or the government's meetings about funding or how to make a difference in the community. I was told also that certain individuals are not invited and not, and, and there was a school board meeting, if I'm correct, yeah. I, I am correct because I found out, they actually have police officers that were uh, standing at the gate in terms of uh, making sure that um, making sure that um, the certain people did not have a voice. And so sometimes we also have to remember, and I have to remember well, access, 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 access is key. Yes. Uh, we we talked yes. about this two weeks ago. Um, I moderated a, um, a forum with foundation leaders at the, um, uh, the, the how do you call it, Kresge Foundation offices, and it was open to the public. That forum was open to the public, and people showed up, community folks. I saw a lot of community folks there showed up, and they had a real conversation with these foundation leaders about whether their dollars are really going where it's supposed to be. But it's one thing to be, you know, to be sitting up high and mighty somewhere in the tower and write the big check, you know, and then, of course, you're the front page, you're the headline and all that stuff in the newspaper, the evening news, Sunday morning shows. There's another thing if, in fact, the thing that you wrote is really making a difference in people's lives. And we talked about this other issue here, this idea of legacy donation. You know, I keep giving to Tony Martin because Tony's been around for 5,000 years. You know, Tony looks the same. You know, we keep writing him the check. No, it doesn't matter whether it, it's making a difference or not. It doesn't matter. As long as we see that name, Tony Martin, oh, we got to cut that check. You know, and I, we, yeah, we have a conversation about it. Right. Right. You, I dare right. anybody, especially people listening, but even you all, what what are these, you know, what's the Urban League, what do they do? Yeah. You know, and I'm not trying to denigrate them, but really, what are they, give me that big, what's their big uh, uh, issue that they're uh, doing? What's yeah. the NAACP doing? What are they, who have they sued lately? What, what are they doing? Well, that's so interesting. I, I, once again, the, the Baptist pastors yesterday, the, uh, the policy uh, political action director for the Baptist pastors. We asked the Baptist <laughs> council on this show. <laughs> I asked the question, right. where is the Baptist council on 17,000 families that are about right. to have their water shut off? And I took your well, let me tell you this. Right. When, the, when the administration went after them with their drainage fees, yes. they were running downtown they to did. make sure that they got those uh, fees they cut did. down. And they did get, they what what was down. their response about that? I said, I, I said, you've been very silent again. Last night right. I, I asked the direct question. Everybody became, oh my God, where did she come from? I said, I came from Lake Lake's <laughs> truck. <laughs> You told him he came from Red Line, huh? Right, I told him I came from Red Line, and I invited him on the show. I said, here. I said, we have a charge and a challenge on Monday or Tuesday right. to call out. And I said, we have three pastors, and here I'm talking to the Baptist ministers here. Right. And you're saying, and, and those people who are suffering are in your pews, are in your churches. And I didn't hear a voice from we anyone. We have a council of Baptist pastors Absolutely. in this, in this in, uh, what do you call it? In fact... They, they call it the Council of Baptist Pastors and Vicinity, whatever right. that, you know, of course. Um, uh, representing uh, several thousand of the churches. Uh, churches, yeah, churches. 3,000 3, churches. Yes. And, I, and I keep giving the example of um, Reverend Joseph Jordan, you know, and God bless him, he passed away. Yes. And I remember I, I wrote a column when he passed away to talk about just uh, how much he, he was able to do, you know, and, and how much he was able to contribute in this city. And I keep going back to the example that he set. And, and I remember this when... Um, this was during uh, the entire, you know, there was this big fight to return DPS to an elected board. And you had the keep the board, no takeover coalition. You have the non-E coalition, you know, saying, you know, uh, the, uh, then Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick wanted to keep, uh, keep the state takeover board. And so there was a fight from the grassroots end to return it to an empowered elected board. And so the Baptist Council was this big prize. If you could get them on your side, yes. then you won. But for some reason, I mean, the grassroots folks were able to get the Baptist Council under the leadership of Joseph, Joseph Jordan on their side. And I remember this. And honestly, I think you have to show me a minister or ministers who can do this today in 2018. And I remember the Baptist Council back then under Joseph Jordan, their meetings every Tuesday. I used to go to those meetings because you could, I could come up, I could come out of that meeting with a story every week. It was, you know, reporters went there. So every Tuesday, 12 noon, the Baptist Council had their Baptist pastors at their meeting. And this Tuesday, Kwame Kilpatrick was coming to make a presentation to the Baptist Council about why they should support what he wants to do with the schools and all of that stuff. So, of course, you know, the, the behind-the-scenes hand-wringing and all of that. 
But I remember, you know, I mean, Patrick, the affable guy, you know, very charming, very smart, brilliant guy, walked in with his entourage. Councillor Bathis passes, they've already had their meetings and now they're waiting for the mayor, you know. So I was standing at the back and he was packed and everything. Yeah. Pontius Patrick mounted the podium at Corinthians Baptist Church and made his spell. After he spoke, Joseph Jordan, Joseph Jordan came back to the podium like the real Baptist preacher and, and sounding like a school teacher. He looked into the mayor's eyes and he basically said, you don't walk into here and tell us what to do. Mm. That's Jordan. And he said, no, and he said, you don't come here to talk to us when, because you need us. You're supposed to show up whether you're trying to get us to lobby you or not. And when he finished reading Quality Patrick, the riot act, you know, I mean, you could only, it, it was, it was amazing to watch him, the courage, not many ministers can do that in this town now. You know, not many Jordan not, was not bought and paid for. No. Right. So I, I knew I, him. I, he mentored me when I was in my 20s. I didn't know that. I know him see, personally. See. I went to school with his daughter. He was a real man. You see, I didn't know that. But he was a real man. So when Joseph Jordan was done, when he schooled Kwame Kilpatrick, yes. like a Baptist, like a true Baptist preacher, like a school teacher, like a father to a son, within five minutes, Kwame Kilpatrick and his entourage walked away out of the church. And the headline was, Baptist Council did not budge for Kwame Kilpatrick, and they supported the move to an empowered elected board. But that was because they had the leader who had the courage to, to do so. One that would stand on exactly. the right side of right. Wait, and again, and right. again, I don't want to, it's not about be, berating the church, but where's, yeah. the, where's the moral leadership yeah. in the church? Where's the moral leadership in this country, black or white? Right. But in our community, where is the moral leadership? It, yeah. There's a vacuum. Yeah. And no one wants to see, you know, we, we, a lot of churches do well, make a lot of money on TV, but I can't, who, who's that face in Detroit that's standing up for the, for the underclass? Yeah. Who's their champion? And, and, it, and I don't think people need to rely specifically, rely on a hero, right? right. right. But you, right. you can't, they can't be absent right. and we're letting them off the hook. Right. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King says that I am not the Messiah. Make it yeah. very clear. Now remember right. that he was beaten down yeah. by pastors. Yeah. by the people uh, that he actually associated with, uh -huh. that he got his degree in theology with. These same individuals who were praying to God, they were the same individuals. <laughs> crucifying, who crucifying, 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 taking to Golgotha. Right. Yeah. And those were the same people. So there is a chism. And right. You know, like, no and question. Right. But but the reason why I keep, uh, Tony, I keep bringing you, see, I didn't know this because I didn't even know that uh, you were mentored by Joseph Jordan. But the reason I keep I know build that church. You see, so <laughs> I did. Wow. I, I didn't. I didn't I, know I this, but it's true. I was an electrical apprentice under Joe yeah. Jordan. He was I'm, an electrician. I'm, right. I'm gonna take some calls, right. but but the thing is that, but he did, you know, and and I, um, I, I you know, I wrote a column, but just you know, just a tribute because right. I thought it was important to put it out there, right. and and I remember, you know. A couple of times I'll go to his office to hear him talk about the history of Paul Town and uh, how right. and all. So he was he was right in there. That's but right. but the courage that he showed it with the court Kwame Kilpatrick during that battle, I thought that was just a class act. Right. And you know it showed yeah. stamina, it showed courage. Very few ministers in this town will do that, please. Very right. few ministers can do that. Right. And there was another, just remember if we were going to reflect that, uh Reverend Sampson. Yeah, yeah. Reverend yeah. Sampson. Right. Once again, you know, strong um, and, and always came up on the right side of right. They yeah. spoke out. But the key is spoke yeah. out and had the individuals who moved, he moved his people right. towards uh, right. being involved. Right. Being involved. Not just on Sunday, right. but being involved Throughout. in community activity. Yeah. And I, I remember Jordan and I remember Sam. So let's go to Brian. Uh, Brian has a question or comment. 313 313-778-7600. Hey, this show once again, I'm going to lay. Uh, is the number still four on the pastors they called him? Yeah, it's still four, brother. Yeah, so it hasn't changed. I was explaining that to Tracy uh, Martin on her show, and she said, I heard that. And it was a minister of the show at the time. And the funny part is, I asked him, what was he going to do? And uh -huh. he was bragging, bragging about being down there at the uh, hotel on the lane and all with So did you ask him if he was going to come on board? Man, I thought he would be number five by this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting people on glass, but right. because you know me and people know, 
who I am. And Tracy gave me a nice little time to talk, man. Uh -huh. I really appreciate you, man. <laughs> I wish, honestly, a person like you were the leader today because we believe in the bank of A. Thompson. Nah, let, let's we're all leaders, though. We gotta all, we got, all have to be leaders. We trust you. We trust you. That's what it is, man. We don't have to invite each other. I appreciate that, but let me remain in the media minister, brother. That's where I belong. Messenger. But um, but 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 again, and 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 it is really sad though when we can reflect and give examples of people that have done so so much, and we can't point to present day people that are willing to take on the status quo and say, "Look, I support you, but here's where I disagree," and have a real public debate with you on issues. You can't find that. It's when hard. I, when it's I, hard. When I go around, I come I come across a lot of people who want to whisper to me, well, "Tony, you're doing so wonderful. Well, you're, yeah, I agree with you on this issue." I agree with you. Well, okay, you agree with me. Why don't you speak up? Right, right. People are, people are, it's hard to speak truth to power, right? So a yeah, lot of it's not hard. It's it not depends on what you have to say. No, for some people, you have to make a decision. because they're thinking of all the things that could happen in the wake of that. Yeah. And I think for us, Tony, you made a good point. I think you, you, you I don't know if, if folks heard you say it, but you made the point that we all have to be leaders. We are. So we, yeah. can't, we can't depend on other people to speak up. We have to speak up for ourselves. We have to be the voice for ourselves to make sure that we are advocating. I mean, one of the right. things that I, again, I go back to my parents because they're always my example of great people. And my mom, so my dad was kind of the negotiator. And my mom was the advocate. So she would get out there, fight for our block, fight for our neighborhood. You know, if there was an issue at school, she was right there. That's what we need. We need to be there for each other and for our families. So although it would be great if we had a bunch of ministers who would run down and say, I was I'm just I'm talking about one. I can't yeah. name, did somebody name it one yet? Well, I'm still waiting. Where is it? Great. We just, I want to say that the, the four that showed up and, and are part of it, uh, then they need to move forward. And I would, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, they, but, they but need that, to but, 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 but here's the deal. That's just one issue, though. That's right. There are multiple issues. Yeah. No, there are yes, multiple issues. Right. And you can right. basically choose what which one you want to go true. for. You that's know, true. I mean, there's the water issue, the uh, crime Housing. issue. I mean, yeah, there are, there are all kinds of issues. Right. You have folks who are being kicked out of their homes because, Ooh. one, they can afford the rent, and one, they're poor, and two, those homes are not even habitable. But there are some churches that, you know, I go back to saying you know? there are some churches that some um, uh, people are saying today, as we are talking about this, right. they are doing that in Shut their town, in their church, that they have food bank, they have housing, they right. have vouchers. They're uh, encouraging people. They're taking care of the homeless. So there are folks. The key is, once again, Bankoy, do we know that and how big is it? And is it impacting yeah. the, the city? That's the key. Is it impacting the city in terms of the numbers? If you got, you know, a drop of water. But, you but, know, Lavone, but, Lavone, but, but, but Tony raised an important, important point to the Urban League, right? Yes. So I had my own little experience with the Urban League, and they never forgave me for that <laughs> since then. And since then, I've never been invited to their, you know, the Mighty Warriors dinner and all that stuff. And, you know, they basically still held that against me. And I remember back in 2005, 2005, 2006, that I had just become editor of the Mission Chronicle. And, um, you know, I came out right the gate from the citizen. And, of course, here was I. Okay, who is this guy from the citizen? They're writing a black newspaper. Oh, boy, what's going to happen to the Chronicle now? All that stuff, you know. And... So one of the first columns I wrote, actually, in the Chronicle, which was unusual because it was not that kind of paper. No. And one of the first columns I wrote.